Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Thursday on this 21st of February. How's everybody doing? Good to see everybody. Good to see you, Ken. All right, look at that. Grant, good. <laughs> looks like a lot of people came to work, even though it's a big holiday week. Lita, good to see you. Lane, John, Scott, Dave, Deb, everyone. All right, good, guys. So did everyone heard about the big news last night about the basketball game? Everybody watched the big news. Good to see you, Mark. The Duke game, everybody saw about the Duke game? Just give me a yes or no. No, George, you didn't. You know why? Because maybe some of us don't even really care about basketball. It's a younger crowd, okay? <laughs> we hit that right, right out the back. Nike, a huge PR da d disaster, okay? Probably the, um, the number one draft pick in the NBA, okay, um, is, is a player that's on the Nick, on the on, – on the, um, uh, the biggest number one player is on is on the Duke team, and and they yeah, last night's game um, was the it was more expensive to go to that game than the Super Bowl. It was Duke. It was a big big rivalry. It's a, one of the biggest basketball games, bigger than probably the Final Four. And um, I know President uh, they said President Obama was even there. That's how big this game is. So the the, the reason why I'm bringing it up is that the number one draft pick the the, the this guy this guy on the duke uh, on duke sneaker fell apart from nike okay now catastrophes i told you make opportunities and right now you're looking at nike so you know listen you know you hear me talking about like what happened with the forest fires in california i, I talk about like yesterday i was telling you about you know the new green deal that the, that the democrats are pushing you know how to profit from that you know uh the pot stocks you know you know you know you, as a trader you can't let you know your your feelings affect the way you trade because we're in the same family well listen you know look what happened with nike some people are like oh i i, I love nike but look it was a great short so there are opportunities everywhere when it comes to trading and you know and and you look at it, it's like listen nike had a nice little rally from um you know it got killed from november i mean october went all the way from like 90 96 down to 65 and then boom you know after they had that nice christmas crash the thing made a huge nice rally you could see that literally almost what uh uh, uh 20 points right there right well not only maybe to the news because what happened but i knew it was a short anyway just look at the resistance level it's got a tough time breaking 86 dollars but sure enough it's taking a little bit of a little bit more of a hit due to the pr effect so anyway my point is this do i still think it's a short you know being down it just just to show you that how powerful of things that happen over the day that you would never think um, where there's catastrophes unfortunately make big opportunities and you gotta you always got to keep an eye on that you well thanks grant that's why we're here listen I've been doing this for 25 years so I've been through the worst of the worst some people you know I met um, Jim Kramer uh, a few years back and I took a picture with him, and I met him uh, with the, Janier, uh, the Nigerian brothers. Uh, they, I did an event with them, and uh, I did a photo. You know, I, I met him. I was talking to him, and I'm like, I was asking him some, some questions. And uh, by the way, I didn't realize how small he is. <laughs> He's, he was. I thought. I, I mean, I'm five. I'm, I'm almost. Uh, I'm five eleven. He's. I, he had to been at least like five three, five four, I think. Um, I said, I always thought he looked bigger on TV. So anyway, I met with him. And I talked to him. And I'm like, I was telling him, I said, uh, you know, I'm a day trader. He's like, oh, my God, you're still in the game. You know, I'm like, well, why would I be out of the game? I told him. I'm like, well, I see all these, these day traders. They all got crushed. And they look. I'm like, well, because they weren't day trading. They were swing trading, you know. Would I say they're probably listening to you sometimes, maybe you know, because you didn't always have the greatest uh, greatest advice on certain stocks. But um, but anyway, the thing is, I've been through all of it. I've been through the you know the the internet bubble, the financial crisis. I mean, you know, uh, everything. So the thing is, when you see so much stuff, when I keep telling you what's moving in the market and things to look at, you be you know, some people look like, well, why are you so negative, or why are you doing it? Why are you looking at you know, is it is it political? Is it because you're you know you don't like this company? It has nothing to do with that. It's it's just a way to make money. That's it. You know, hey, if it was the hurricanes, I mean, if I told you, th I mean, I tell you stories that happened in, you know, Hurricane Sandy with Goldman Sachs built a 12 foot sand wall around that building. People are like, why would they do that? Well, 
Well, that's, that's why they're the, that's why they're the golf all the Wall Street. So anyway, I thought it was pretty cool to share that with you, so you guys could kind of get a little bit of taste of now not looking at a major catastrophe, but how could a sneaker company get really hit by that? All right. So anyway, there's a couple of good stocks that are moving this morning. But before we do that, let's talk about what happened yesterday, because some of them are also kicking in today. So we did really well with the KNDI, which obviously is still moving again this morning. Uh, KNDI has been on fire. I mean, we, we traded the last couple of days, went from six, it went as high as almost like nine. Um, stock has just been really, yeah, right there. You can see it. it's just a great, great rally. Um, and, and once again, remember, everybody, you can't go broke taking a profit. Remember what we always teach you here in class. It's not about hitting home runs. If you try to hit a home run, you're going to blow up your account. So that one did pretty well. And then obviously the blockchain stock, that one also did very well too. Right out of the gate, 330, all the way to 4 bucks. That one did great. Uh, you can see that's been on a pretty nice move lately in the past couple of days. It was at two. It was basically it's almost up about a, I don't know, over 100% in about three days. So uh, it became a good day trade. Uh, but, and then turn into a nice little swing trade. And a couple other good stocks I would want to point out. Plus, the Crohn's, the CRON, um, that one is obviously did pretty well for us also. You could see that one. We've been uh, swing trading that one, but doing great. I actually, you know, don't tell my my nieces and nephews, but one of the biggest things I always do, you know, I don't know if I think I told you guys this a long time ago, but, um, you know, here, you know, uh, I always get invited, you know, when you get invited to like uh, a first birthday, a communion, a baptism and stuff, you know, like I don't give gifts. You know what I, you know what my gift is? I buy them stock. I buy them stock because giving them, you know, a hundred dollars, five hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, what they're gonna do? The parents could probably spend it and pay for the, the, the whatever, pay for the the party, whatever. So what I do is I just buy them stock. So you know, I bought I bought my nieces and nephews all um the stock Crohn's. You know, and I'm like, well, then, and I got a phone call the other day, and my my cousin, my my niece is like, why did you buy my daughter pot stock? You know, not knowing, I'm like, uh, have you looked at what's happened lately? So anyway, uh, when I when we saw that stock break out over 14, which was a major resistance, obviously you could see how it went away to 25. So that one's doing pretty well. And then uh, the PCG, that one we talked a little bit about yesterday regarding, you know, uh, you know, we've been a great, that's been a great swing trade. I'm just so, I'm so, so ticked off that I sold it cheap. You know, I bought it at eight, I sold it at 10, I bought it back at 13, you know, and then, and then I, and I had so much of it. I wish I just had a lot more of it. You don't even feel that you own the stock. You wish you had so much more of it. You know, once again, that's been one of our good, good swing trades. Mark says a thousand dollar birthday gift free. Uh, feel free to adopt me, <laughs> Mark. You know, I guess when uh, when you have a when you're the uncle, you know, everybody uh, it's so it's all about the kids. What are you what are you gonna do with the money, right? You make it here every day, you give it to them. You know, it's like charity, but uh, but it's more towards their college fund. That's where I look at it. All right. But uh, well, thank you very much. All right, let's go through some of the watch lists because there are a couple of good stocks that are moving this morning. Let's start off with the C. R E G that's moving this morning. This one has gapped up a little bit nicely. A little cheap little stock. Some of you remember this stock back in uh, back last year. If you go back to your journals, this went from a, a dollar to about almost three dollars in, in two days. So we know the stock does move. I'm not too crazy about it yet, but it's look at the iceberg orders. Look at the matrix right here. Beautiful, beautiful matrix. We're going to keep a close eye on that. And only, uh, only reason why I like it because we did trade it before, and it is moving a little bit. So Kind of came up on my radar. Uh, ZSAN, another one. Got a couple of nice little iceberg orders out there in the matrix. It started breaking a little bit of a Fausta flag on the downside, but she's gapping up a little bit this morning. So she's testing these resistance levels right around here. If she does break this resistance, I could probably see hitting three. You know, nice little cheapy. Now, the one that all of us have been trading the last two days, and, you know, obviously it's picking up again this morning, is the KNDI. The stock is up about 7%, 300,000 shares. You can look at that long-term chart. I mean, the thing has been pretty damn strong lately. I mean, very, very strong. If this stock breaks out, you know, yesterday's highs, I mean, this thing could really go off to the races. You know, I mean, listen, it's it's only eight dollars for crying out loud. OK, we're not talking about um, one stock that did come up on my radar. What was it? What was it? Um, shoot. Which one was it? This one did great. Also, uh, blah, 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 blah. where are you? Why am I drawing a blank? I had it on my radar. 
Uh, I'll think of it. I'll think of it in a minute. Wait, where, where, where are you? Where are you? Came up on my radar. All right, I'll think about it later. Once, oh, tw t Twilio, that's it. T-W-L-O. I mean, that's another one we were looking at. Twilio, I mean, guys, not even less than this, this stock. We've been watching it for a while. Um, it's obviously doing great. We were big fans of Twilio. But we're not going to go trade a $100 stock. We're not going tra to trade an $8 stock. That is ignorance at its at its biggest. You know, I, I was talking to a, tra a, a, a student yesterday, became a student. He's like, you know, Fausto, I never seen somebody who's big fans of inexpensive stocks. It makes perfect sense. You're only here to make money, you know, but everyone's talking about Twilio. They're talking about Tesla options. They're talking about Facebook. They're talking about Microsoft, but no one's talking about, you know, Twilio. No one's talking about Crohn's. No one's talking about PCG that got destroyed because it's at the end of the day, you're here to make money. That's all it's about. All right. BCLK, another one I want to uh, put on our watch list. Okay, this one's taking a very nice little hit today. I like it because it's testing some support levels. So um, let's see if it does break that support. But if not, it could be a little bit of a dead cat bounce. As of right now, you can see it's kind of rolling on the floor. So that's not a good sign. CYH, another one that we found here. It's moving nicely. Stock, um, it's breaking higher highs of 15%. It's up right around here. I could see it testing probably 480, getting to maybe five bucks. Um, I see a lot more buyers in the matrix and sellers, which is a good sign. So trading at the highs, that one looks pretty strong. I know some of you guys are already trading that one. BTY, another one came up on my watch list. Did I spell it right? BTX, I'm sorry, BTX. There we go. Nice little cheap little stock. Some of you remember this again. We trade the stock. It ran from 80 to about a buck 60. You know, just try to make the short uh, short profit on it. Not the greatest of sports. I don't know. Maybe I'm not really a fan of it. I don't know. It's breaking higher highs, so it looks pretty strong. I don't know. It's, it's something that we'll keep an eye on. One stock uh, also, shockingly, is uh, that came up on my radar too is Norwegian. Uh, Norwegian Cruise Lines. I'm like, wow, look at this thing. Who would ever thought that Norwegian would be this high? Anyway, Norwegian stock is up pretty nicely. They're talking about it, cruise liners, you know, but there is that but. It's at a major resistance levels right here. So <laughs> listen, this stock has the greatest roller coaster. You know, uh, you can buy, you, you sell it at, at, at $58, you buy it back at 42, you sell it close to 58, somewhere around there, buy it back around 40, you sell it 53. I mean, anyone buying a stock right here has got to be, it's ridiculous, okay? I wouldn't buy the stock, um, I don't care how much it's up, because it's that major resistance, and we know, I know that, and look at that, there's like literally nobody out there in Matrix, too, so why would I even touch that stock? But I wanted to bring that up to kind of show you you know um, how important it is because yesterday when we traded there was a few stocks that we traded and I said it point blank I said guys it's at major resistance levels you know and and every indicator everything made it look like it's going higher and sure enough what it do it tanked so that's basically the update from there update on queer deal from uh, wow it's a pretty big deal friend 560 million huh all right anything I'm missing I did not call out uh, call up Benito says the TUUI yeah, that one's gapped up pretty nicely. Is it a buyout? Because it doesn't look like it's really doing anything. There was this, uh, and this was a buyout too. It's up 300%, the IMDZ. So this is pretty much a buyout. So forget about that one. Well, car, I mean, you know what? I saw a car. It was at Avis, right? I saw a car. And um, it, it, you know what? I'm going to throw it back in a watch list because I was watching it earlier. And, and you know what? It didn't do anything, but now it just popped. OK, because when I was going through the watch list before nine o'clock, was kind of doing nothing from yesterday to now. But she is picking up some momentum right now. So, you know what? I will throw that back on the uh, watch list. You know what, Ben and, and, and everyone here? That's what teamwork's all about. That's why you guys are part of this team. You know, we're here to work together as a team. You know, it's not about just listening to Fausto and, hey, what are you looking at? No, no, no. It's all about working together. So thank you very much for that. Um, I'm watching, Mary Beth is watching the B-O-X-L. It's cheap. It's got a nice movement, great volatility. It's not up a lot. Just be careful. The spread looks a little big. The tier size is pretty small on that. That's the only issue I have. All right, Mary. Fernando says the I-D-E-X. 
nice little push. She 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 moved pretty nicely, but as of right now, she's not doing anything. Um, that stock you could see in the last couple of days was, was a fun stock. It had a nice push going into yesterday, uh, going into the close, but she had some really good movement after hours, but she's trickling down right now. So you could put it on your watch list. You could put it on your ticker, but right now I would say no. All right. Okay, guys, let's get ready for the market. we got about 10 minutes before it opens up. Listen, I know we have a lot of traders in here that have been trying it out. Listen, just remember we always say, look, listen, and learn. And uh, go back. L listen, we have all these videos on YouTube. You know, you look at some of the things we talked about. You can learn from them, you know, and especially being in class. Listen, class has started this week. Most of your time has to be spent in classroom, not in trading. Trading is a part-time job. You know, a lot of issues, some of you are probably done already this morning because most of the trades we do is in pre-market. But don't, you know, listen, make the money and get to class. That's the most important thing. Every time you go to class because 70, 80% of it is all live trading, that's where every, every class is a new adventure. You learn something new, so make sure you're in there, guys. And then don't forget, next week I will be doing phase three. All right, everyone, good luck, everyone. Happy trading. We'll see you back at 2.30 for the afternoon meeting.